This is Fred from North 40 Fly Shop, and today I'm gonna tie one of the color variations of the flash and grab. This is one of our go-to streamers uh, throughout the summer in Montana. The uh, first color combination here that's one of our favorites and kind of an all-around sunny day favorite is gold, silver, copper, a little red throat, yellow in the middle. This works just about anywhere you fish in Montana. We've got a perch version that can be particularly good on, sometimes on still waters where perch are and trout are coexisting, and then uh, on the Missouri River, this has done well for us. And then the darker version, gold, copper, excuse me, copper, black, and red is great for um, dark days, early morning, late at night, that kind of thing. Uh, there's gonna be a blog post following up this video, so check the link at the bottom if you want more details. So to start with, we're gonna run with a 4660. This is a number four Daiichi right angled jig hook. Got this already secured in my vise. I'm gonna throw down a thread base. I'm using uh, just some yellow 140 UTC thread here. And then I'm gonna grab a little stack of flashaboo. I'm actually gonna carry my thread back up almost to the bend there. This is going to go in as my tail. What I like to do, this hook is so thin, when I tie my eyes on, I like to have just a little bit more material to, uh, for them to stick to. So I'm going to tie this little layer of flashaboo. It's not much, but it will add just a little extra layer. Give those eyes something to stick on. So I'm going to measure that out. Um, basically, we want this fly to be about two and a half inches long. All right, then I'm going to grab my eyes. Uh, typically, Spirit River Real Eyes work great for this in the 3 16th size. Uh, we also really like these dumbbell eyes, the dirty dumbbells. Um, same size, although they're a slightly different shape. I'm going to go ahead and lock one of those in. Just going to figure eight a few times. You can certainly glue these down if you want to. Um, one of the keys with these jig hooks too is to make sure your eyes are square. They might get turned around after you catch a fish or two, but generally you want them squared off when you tie the fly, especially if you glue them down. So then our next material, we're gonna use some polar chenille in yellow, just to give it a little bit of body. Just gonna tie that in there and wrap it up, carrying my thread along as I go. Get that locked into place. Next stage is we're gonna stick a little collar on this. We could go ahead and just tie in our flashaboo at this point and we'd have a pretty narrow profiled little streamer, but we're gonna use a little collar that's gonna give a little lift and a little shoulder to that flashaboo, um, make it just swim with a little more action in the water. So I'm gonna grab about an inch of rabbit strip here. Make a little dubbing loop. Then I'm just going to trim the hide right off of the hair there. Kind of set that in place and then spin her up. A 
That spun out pretty cleanly, but I'm just going to take my bodkin and make sure everything is loose. And then go ahead and wrap this as a collar right behind the eyes. Then we're gonna select just a little bit of red flashaboo and this is gonna go in as my throat. I'm just gonna grab a couple strands and I'm gonna fold those in half. Trim that off and then fold them again over my thread so I don't waste a bunch. Get a few wraps, get them above the eyes there, and then we just want to place these right in the middle. And then I'm going to trim it just about the length of my hook shank, maybe a little bit longer, kind of the, I guess about the hair length there. And you can flare those out just a little bit. And we're going to flip around, and our first layer on top is going to be gold. Gonna fold that over my thread. Lay it in right on top. And then I'm gonna measure this off just a little bit shorter by maybe a quarter inch than my silver. And you can, again, before you got your thread really locked in there, you can kind of spread it out a little bit. Then I'm gonna add a little thread pressure, put a few more wraps down. And then we're gonna finish off by topping it with a little copper. When you tie on these jig heads with a right angle, it's a little bit tricky in that you don't want to crowd up onto that bend because your thread wants to roll right up it. So what I do is each layer I start back just a little bit and that ends up building a little bit of a taper into my head. So we're going to get that centered right in the middle. I'm going to reach back, I'm going to trim that off just a little bit less than my gold. And that's my final layer. Make sure it's centered where it needs to be, and then I'm just going to go ahead and finish off a little more thread. And whip it good. So to complete this, we're just going to seal up the head with a little loon flow. Love this stuff. And I'm going to touch just a little back there where that thread is at the base, where that throat's tied in, just so it doesn't get toothed up. Get my light working here. And there we have the gold, silver, copper, yellow, red throat flash and grab.